I V M. Hello and welcome to Smile India, the podcast that gets you news that others don't. Uplifting and positive stories from across the nation. I'm your host Shifa Maitra, so let's get started. First up, let me tell you about this restaurant in Mumbai, Uncle's Kitchen, which began as a hole in the wall and is now a fancy establishment. When the lockdown started, the owner Ronnie De Souza also shut shop, but there was no way he was going to let his 23 staff members starve. So he got into action and shifted all of them to a big vacant flat. He assured them that they would be paid 60% of their salaries so they could send some money home. While the lockdown was on, De Souza assured them that he would look after their stay and food at his expense. The staff members heaved a sigh of relief, and when they saw migrants walking home, they were glad they had De Souza as a boss. He made sure they took vitamin supplements, eggs, and turmeric to keep their immunity high. Once takeaway services were allowed, they worked together, and each day De Souza came to the flat, took everyone's temperature, and even had his meals with them. This man has surely won the loyalty of his team for life. Did you know that there's a museum of Indian paper money in Bangalore? It's created from Rizwan Razak's personal collection and has some amazing gems in there. It has over 750 notes collected by the man, including a Pakistani note that has the RBI stamp. Apparently, when Pakistan was created after partition, they could not generate currency overnight. India had the Reserve Bank in existence since 1935, so the Pakistanis asked for help. So for the first year, all notes in Pakistan had the RBI emblem on them. Razak also has notes from the time of the East India Company and notes from French and Portuguese colonies in India. The royal states of Hyderabad and Jammu and Kashmir had their own paper currency with the royal seal that was used within the kingdom. You can see all these things here. Razak is a successful businessman and runs the Prestige Group. Yet he makes time for his hobby. He buys notes from auctions. and has spent considerable time and money preserving the currency and building the museum when i think that's what was meant when they say money gets money now about the woman who loves tigers latika nath is india's first female wildlife biologist who's devoted her life to tigers this conservation ecologist is known as the tiger princess as she works towards resolving the man animal conflict the national geographic did a film on her work and they first named her the tiger princess of india She is a sought-after consultant across the country and an author and photographer. She fell in love with tigers when she saw a poster of one at the age of 4. She went on to do her doctorate from Oxford University at the Wildlife Conservation Unit. She's been working for the last 25 years studying tigers at the Kanha Wildlife Sanctuary in Madhya Pradesh and working closely with the tribals in the area. She works on education, health, art and alternate energy programs for the tribal villages. India has the largest number of tigers in the world and Latika is determined to help them thrive. We often complain or hear people complain about how they never manage to find time to do whatever they want. Well, I guess it's about getting some discipline into your routine. Padmam Nair at 100 can give us some tips for sure. At the age of 80, she went back to her childhood hobby of fabric painting. Now from morning to noon, which she claims is her free time, she paints every day. The rest of the day she reads, rests and talks to her family and friends. She has no ailments and attributes it to the fact that she keeps herself busy. She began painting as a hobby, but seeing her wonderful creations, people started giving her orders. She works at her own pace and one saree takes about a month, yet her clients keep increasing. Age is really just a number when you're leading a life filled with joy. If you want to increase your own joy, this is a great time. The Dan Utsav is here like every year this year too from Gandhi Jayanti for 2 weeks Dan Utsav is celebrated. This year you could of course donate money for a cause but you could also donate some time to teaching a child English on the phone once a week for an hour or donate a dish you cook at home to raise funds. Check out danutsav.org to do your bit. If you like this podcast don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app. or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on our social media we are at ivm podcast on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me it's at shifa maitra on instagram and twitter i will see you soon with a new episode of smile india i hope you enjoyed that show I'd like to thank our sponsors this week and tell for supporting us So Justine Royal came on Storytellers and Storytellers this week with Vinit. It was a really interesting conversation. Do definitely check that out. Hamsuni Hariran is back on the Prakriti podcast after an extended absence. 
Amsuni was one of the original hosts along with Pravan, but she was unable to continue. But we're glad to have her back. She's talking about her experiences since she left. She's been studying in China. Definitely check that out. You'll enjoy that. Abhijit Ganguly was on Cyrus Says a couple of weeks ago, and he had such a great time. And we were so happy to have him on that we asked him to join us for Cock and Bull, and he was on this week. Do check that out. And lastly, I'd like to mention our Tamil show. We've been doing a show called Kadai Podcast Ponyan Selvan, hosted by Kavita Jiva. She has been phenomenal. She's reader in the stories in a way. Way which really, you know, they speak to a modern audience. But Ponyan Selvan is over, and she started a new story. Though the new story that she started is Sivakamyan Sabatham. I'm sure I mangled that pronunciation, and I'm sure you'll love it if you're a Tamil speaker. Do definitely check it out. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Namaskar, dear Bandhu. My name is Ashish Vidyarthi. These are truly challenging times, and in these times, we need hope. Do take time to listen to my podcast. Begin the journey. Available on IVM Podcasts website app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, there is hope because there's one life and we are alive.